Today I will show you how you can use the two magical keywords in the image generation prompts to get the stunning results as you can see here. We will generate all these images. These prompts can be used for any AI image generators like Midjourney, Blue Willow, Stable Diffusion, Playground AI or any similar AI tool in the future. I'll be using Midjourney for these prompts. I will first use a simple prompt to generate a sea plant and shell as seaweed, algae, shell and jellyfish and the aspect ratio is 1 ratio 2. We get a good result. But now I will add one special keyword and that is about the bioluminescence light which is quite magical light emitted by some living things. So now I will use the same prompt but with the addition as bioluminescent. Now we get this result having the magical glowing light and looks much better than the simple one. There is a second keyword to have more magical lighting and glow and we will test both on other objects as well. But before that let's add another word in the prompt as psychedelic which will add some unrealistic patterns to make the results different from the real object but in an artistic way. This is the result and you can see we get some unreal patterns especially on the second image. Let's quickly test the second keyword on the same prompt and then we will use both on few other objects. The second keyword related to the magic lighting is neon lighting and trust me using these two keywords you can convert any simple image prompt to a magical output. Let's try this with the existing prompt and I have changed the aspect ratio to 2 ratio 3 and we get this result which has a lot more glowing appearance compared to the previous result. Now let's use these two amazing keywords in different prompts. The first will be trying these on flower bouquet. We know how a flower bouquet looks like, but using the two amazing keywords, we get this stunning result. All four are amazing, but just look at the first one. I would like to upscale that. And this is something amazing. Now let's use these to generate a butterfly image. And just see this. Why not try some combination of flowers and butterflies? Look at this, all four are just too amazing. Let's move on and try this on some animal. And the best can be a line roar. This time I am also specifying ultra detail and 8K quality. Here is the output which is fabulous. So you can try these on any object and you will never be disappointed by the output. I will try to create a psychedelic and magical jungle scene with these two keywords. I would like to use this tree for which I don't know the exact pronunciation. Maybe it is Yggdrasil. So I will be using this type of prompt. If you don't know about this double column notation, we use it to specify the weight of the keyword. Higher the weight, higher will be the impact of that keyword. For example, psychedelic jungle has a weight 6 and Yggdrasil trees have a little less weight. We can also specify a negative weight which will tend to suppress the keyword from the result. For example, birds minus 4. It means we are asking to avoid the birds in the scene. I will not do that and next I am adding a neon light keyword but as neon color circuit board lines which looks something like this. Finally, I am specifying the quality and the aspect ratio. And here is one of the results which is my favorite. You can play with these weights and try different prompts. One last prompt I will try is a scene with the human as well. Let's see what we get and just look at the output. I hope you like the video. I would love to see what you will be creating with these two keywords. Let me know in the comment section. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.